Hello, it's Nikki. The clue might be in the title, you know, uh, but if you didn't read the title, I've closed my podcast. And I say that with joy and gratitude and it's been a process that I have loved. And I may do more in the future, but for now, I have closed that chapter after nearly six years. And I want to give you a bit of a behind the scenes today um, as to why I've done that and the decision making behind it, because maybe you have an area or a project or an element of your business that you that works for you that you're very familiar with but you're just getting a sense of it's it's time it's time to shake things up a little bit and that can be uncomfortable because so many of us grew up just to be grateful and i'm sure i spent my first year at least uh, a drama school when I moved down to London when I was 18 of like I just can't believe I'm here I just I, I just did this awful like sickly oh I was, I'm so humble I can't believe it I'm so grateful and after a while I had to say to myself come on now like you've earned your place here you've you've done what you need to do to get through the door now it's time to do the work and so I guess that's the first thing I want to say is it's okay to change things. It's okay to close chapters, to open chapters, to be very discerning about your business. And it's all good. It's all groovy. So let me tell you a few little stats before we begin. I begun this podcast in 2018, January. So it's just shy of six years old. And I created over a thousand episodes. I interviewed nearly 150 people um, and all of that will continue on my YouTube channel. So I've got some great interviews coming up and they will be shared with you very soon. So essentially the content is not going anywhere. It's just more streamlined. And this is my point number one as to why I've closed it. As much as it pains me to say, because, you know, I'm organized and proactive and determined and organized. Have I said organized twice? I think I have. I can't do everything. I can't do everything. Ah, that was annoying to find out. And this year for me, I... I've spoken about it lots. 2023 was a really tricky year for me in all kinds of ways. I mean, I could blame the moon. I could blame my age. I could blame all sorts of things. But I really felt like it was the ultimate reset for me. And throughout that bumpy process, um, I pulled apart every element of my life and business and explored it and just was intrigued by it and tried to figure it out. And this was not pleasant uh, for most of it. And it really, even though it was difficult at the time, I've gone into this year feeling completely different about my life and my business. I feel, I mean, I'm definitely not because I really enjoyed Christmas food and booze, but I feel lighter. I feel clearer uh, all of those great things. And when I thought about my goals and where I'm headed, I want to have this portfolio career. I love being able to do lots of things that I love, work across multiple um, projects. But the end game for me is not to build the company. I don't want to manage 20 staff. Uh, I don't want to create a big organization. What I would rather do is work with selected partners or freelancers on particular things and do it that way. So I, for example, with my acting, I'm not looking to build a production company at this time. I just love working with my agent, like one-to-one. -one. He sends me stuff, I say yes or no, I do the thing, we both get paid. I, I love that 
simplicity. And so when I was thinking about how I could take this podcast to the next level, if I was going to do that, I realized having known that I, you know, I I couldn't do all of the things, I realized that I couldn't take it where I wanted to take it unless I had a big team. And podcasts have changed a lot in the last six years. And I felt that if I was going to continue, I would need to put more resources into it. And understanding that I couldn't do everything and what it would require meant, and also understanding where I was going and what my goal was, I understood that it was time for that chapter to close. Number two, video for me has always converted better. My videos that I put out there when I meet people face to face, um, they always convert better than any podcast. So when I look at the YouTube stats of something, they are often greater than the podcast stats. And I've now come to realize that as a fact. So why don't I just do more video? Yep, why don't I just do more video? If you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please do so. Number three, monetizing. So uh, the podcast always led to great opportunities. Um, Being able to show a portfolio of consistency of six years of work always uh, worked well in pitches because it showed the kind of person that I was in order to be able to do that. Um, and many people got to know me through the podcast. And yet, if I was going to monetize it, it was going to, because again, it takes a lot of work, it's it's me paying into it, um, it didn't generate direct cash with it. And so, I knew that if I was going to monetize it, I would have to have or make different restrictions on on my content. As in, I'd have to um, go with ads that uh, other people had put together. I would have much more of a brief. I would have to uh, be showing my sort of uh, stats for a particular episode. And I realized it was suddenly, if I was gonna monetize it, it was going to involve different roles within that. Whereas now, if I focus on things like Instagram and YouTube, that monetization will come. I'm like, I'm getting really close to, um, so again, please subscribe and watch other videos. I'm getting really close to being at that point of monetization. And that seems like a much more straightforward way. Again, I get paid in other elements of my business. So it's not the number one reason why I'm doing it. However, it would be lovely to welcome that reciprocity in terms of the content. Number four, I genuinely feel that in in the format that it was, I took it as far as I could get to. And I realized this, that what I achieved in that was a great achievement. When I begun, I literally knew nothing about how to create a podcast. I think it took me three years to actually press go on this thing. And I am so proud amongst everything of um, of what I did. I had a baby in that time. I, um, yeah, we had 2020, didn't we? And just all of those logistics, what it takes to make something like that is uh, not to be sniffed at, basically. Um, And so I feel really content with closing that chapter and, uh, and leaving it there. It feels really good. And again, that's when you know that it's right. That's when you have that sense of like, yeah, I feel very satisfied that I've got it to this point. Um, Number five, final one. Uh, Less is more. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Maybe you are thinking the same. Maybe you're thinking, oh my goodness, I've got to be everywhere. And the pressure online to be in all of the places can be quite acute at times. But 
Again, going back to my goals of wanting to have a lean team and not be spending all of my time managing other people, maybe that will change in the future. Um, I am one person most of the time and I am not an expert in all of the things and I can watch YouTube videos all day long, but I would rather work on the things that I know work and do that. And I'm really exploring lots of different avenues this year. And I also want to feel re-inspired again. I want to learn new things and reconnect with myself, if that doesn't sound too self-indulgent. Um, and I can't do that if I'm doing all of the things in all of the places. So less is more. But even that all being said, firstly, I want to say thank you for watching and sharing and participating and letting me know your comments, your thoughts, your feedbacks, your feelings, your actions that you took. I have loved creating it. Secondly, I never for one minute thought that I would be in the charts against, not against, alongside um, big names from my little podcast. I never I never thought that. I never thought I'd create a thousand episodes. I um, surpassed all of my expectations. Also, thank you to Matty. He won't watch this probably, uh, but he was a real champion in the early days of the podcast. I mean, he still is now, but um, he helped me edit and he just gave me that nudge of like, yeah, you can do this. Yeah, you could do this. Um, so... I'm very grateful for that. Uh, that's it. Over and out. Success Pick and Mix podcast 1.0. Let's see what is next. But if you want to hang out on YouTube, that is mainly where I'll be, where the episodes will be. And I can't wait to show you what's next. Lots of love and thank you so much. Bye.